Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> I ended the, the, the meeting, so my, apolo my apologies. I'm sorry, my bad, that was the first time I did it. No, it's not true, I had done that before, but not with you. Okay, so um, I apologize for that. Um, we are gonna do the same activity. So we're gonna, I, I'm going to send you to the small breakout rooms and then you are going to talk with your classmates, okay? So I'm gonna wait uh, for the ones who are gonna be joining us and um, let me create the breakout rooms. Lo siento, lo, terminé la reunión por mistake, okay? I made a mistake. Okay. Found bad. <laughs> my bad. Uh, that was my bad. I mean, see that, that, that TikTok when people hit and he has said sound <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Go go to your rooms and talk, please. Mm -hmm. so, I live in an yeah. apartment are too small for pet, but I have two cats. <laughs> in in my apartment it's comfortable. Comfort comfort comfortable comfortable comfortable. Comfortable. No comf con F comfortable. Comfortable. Ah, Diga al final F, comfortable. Comfortable. Mm. Uh, mm, um, it's, it's, it has uh, two, two bedrooms. Um, has, um, ha, uh, in, the, in, in the bedroom, um, there, there, there are closets. Oh. Uh, uh, ha, has a uh, laundry, but uh, it's um. Uh, in my case, my house is a little too, but have um two, three rooms in the garage, a little kitchen, and I have I have a little yard. Mm -hmm. I I have only one tree, uh, guayaba tree, <laughs> guayaba tree, and mm. I have a little garden. It's possible I have only roses, and I have a uh, San Andres, a un árbol con flores amarillas, yellow flowers. Do you have uh, about the uh, San Andres? It's a medical plantation. Do you know? Mm, I heard, but I don't have it. Oh, okay, very good. And I, I only have it is the um, example in the bed, uh, yeah, bedroom, two bedroom, because I have two, two daughters, and my daughter mm. uh, from share share the same room, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And only that is possible. Only the kitchen and I in the living room. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a small, but it's a cozy. It's cozy. It's very, very cool because uh, the, the ceiling is the teja. I have teja in my ceiling. Mm, I there, but I prefer staying my bedroom. I prefer staying my bedroom because I can I can listen to music or I can watch some movies in my in my phone. I prefer stay here. What about you, Reina? Uh, 
Um, my house is built. It is. It has a two room bathroom. Um, it has two small patios. Uh, it's color green, light green. Um, it is English story. Um, Where are you from? Uh, I am from in Quetzaltepeque. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a very, very hot, very cold, <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. from San Miguel. Really? Very hot. Very hot. <laughs> really, my, really yes. Maria, where, where in San Miguel, Maria? Colonial Molino. Oh, so, okay, you know my co-workers then. Uh, they live in Colonial Molino too. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Enfrente de las escuelas Sor Cecilia, Santillana. Oh, okay. So I don't por know el, where that is. Okay. <laughs> por el puente. Ah, okay. Okay. So I'll let you continue working. Do you finish? Okay. Do you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes, I guess. Finished. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We are back. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I could see that you were practicing the language and that's basically what I was looking for. I could hear many of you describing how beautiful your houses are, which is great. And uh, let's wait for the other ones who are gonna be joining us in a moment, okay? <clears throat> okay, so- yes, uh, I have yes. a question. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, how do you say um, patio or? Como, uh, perdón. Okay. Yard. Yards. You... Only yard or yard back. Well, it depends because if it is in front, you say front yard. Front yard. Okay. But okay. if it is if it is back, it's backyard. Okay, backyard. backyard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank okay, you. so I have a question. Do you know, for everyone, right, for everyone, do you know how to say um, teja in English? Because I heard some of you saying teja, teja, teja. Mm -hmm. No. Hey, I can see Walter typing it in, in, in Google. Like, how do you say teja, teja? <laughs> and Wilmer as well. <laughs> yeah, how do you say teja in English? Can anybody help me out? I don't know, teacher. I think it's that. Roof? 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 Roof is techo. Could be brick? Could be brick? Brick? Brick is ladrillo. Brick is ladrillo. Roof tile. The dictionary could be a brick. Tile. Tile. Roof tile. Y ladrillo es que, como dijo Walter, que se decía brick. Sí? Brick. Just in case you need it, just in case you are describing your house and you need to say, oh, the tiles are the tiles are very hot, you can say that. <laughs> By hot, I mean that it's very, it's very, I mean, the, the sun and everything, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I just want to say something. Do you yes. know that well, I learned to, this, this week a new adjective that is aesthetic? What is it? It's like I'm aesthetic. I'm going to put it in the chat okay mm -hmm. I, I don't know yeah aesthetic mm -hmm. what is it what does and it mean uh, yeah mm -hmm. it's relating to or dealing with beauty mm -hmm. okay. aesthetic values and concerning or characterized by an appreciation of beauty or good taste oh okay Good. I learned this this week. Nice. You know, that's that's a good thing of English. We never stop learning. 
yeah even though maybe you can you can have a vast knowledge about the language but you never stop learning the same as in spanish you know there are many new words that we don't know how to say uh, we mm -hmm. hear people saying those kind of picky words and we're like is that a spanish we didn't know <laughs> okay thank you for sharing that Pame. all right so today also we are going to we're going to know uh, how to differentiate the use of two and enough okay see two it's used or it means more than sufficient or more or less than necessary. For example, it's too late to stop him. It's too late. So what about enough? Enough. What about enough? We use enough to mean sufficient. For example, your clothes are big enough to fit me. See? Also, you can use enough with a verb. For example, you've done enough work. You've done enough work. You can stop now. All right. So when we are describing not only houses, even though right now we can use um, enough and two to describe and evaluate houses, but we can use it with everything. We can use it for apartments we can use it for cars if we want to evaluate or compare two things we can use two and enough look look at this no look no at this example todavía. okay 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 <laughs> look at look at these examples apartments aren't big enough for families for example, you can say, my bedroom, it's not big enough for me. See? It's not big enough for me. Look at the other example. Apartments are too small for pets. For example, they may say, oh, oh, mister, uh, my, my bedroom is too small for me. Yeah, it's very, very small. It's too small for me. Or you can say, I wish I could have a big kitchen. Why? Oh, because the kitchen is too small for me and my kids, for me and my husband or my wife, or for me and my mom, or for me and my family, okay? Apartments are too small for pets. Uh, what about evaluation? Apartments don't have enough parking space. Dígame una cosa que no tenga su casa, que no sea suficiente. Uh -huh. Y en vez de apartments, vamos a decir my house. Aquí lo tenemos el ejercicio, pero quiero hacerlo acá con ustedes. My house doesn't have enough what? Think about one thing that, it, that you have it, but it's not enough. Uh -huh. My house doesn't have enough backyard. Oh, okay. Doesn't have enough backyard. Okay, good. What about coach? One question before yes. um, I move on. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> my house doesn't have or has. Doesn't have. Why? <clears throat> because remember, I'm using don't in this case. Can you see it? Because mm -hmm. I have it in plural. Okay. okay. And that's yeah. why. Yeah. See. I have yeah. it right here. But if I didn't have that, I would say apartment, my apartment my doesn't house. have, doesn't have, or my house, my house doesn't That's have, enough. yeah, doesn't have enough okay. parking spaces or enough um, backyard, you say. Okay, look at this example. Subject plus verb to be plus adjective plus enough. My backyard is big enough for my pet. Can you help me to complete these sentences? My house, what? ¿Cómo podríamos completar esto? My house. My house doesn't have enough, okay. enough space in the kitchen. Okay, so I'll go to the chat y voy a escribir, okay? My house. Siguiendo la regla que tengo ahí, sería my house, el verbo to be sería, puede ser positivo o puede ser negativo. Uh -huh. Oh. Is, yeah. is, what? 
My house is um, an adjective. Can you tell yeah. me an adjective? An adjective, another adjective. Beautiful. <clears throat> it's beautiful enough. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful for my family. Enough family. for my families. Yes, for my family. Family. See? My house is beautiful enough for my family. Okay? Can you type one sentence for me, please? Describing your house. Utilizando los adjetivos que vimos anteriormente. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, describe your house, utilizando, using what? Using this structure, verb to be, adjective, and enough. Mm -hmm. My room is too small for me. Okay, good. Okay, you are using this one, right? Too small. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. my, my what? My is be, I guess it's my house or my... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I I am hungry, teacher. I I eat that word. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I yeah, I was hungry too because my 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 mother-in-law just gave me some uh, at all the the piña. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, my house is too small. Um, small for my family. I'm upset. I'm sorry, Carlos. Uh, Abarca says, my bedroom is big enough for me. Okay, good. What about my office? Quiero que me den oraciones con my office ahora. No about your house. If you have an office, go. My house have, okay, my house has, has. My house, Joanna, my house has. Okay, my apartment has two bedrooms with you. closets. My bathroom is big enough for me. Good. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, Marta Menjivar, my house is cozy enough. Good. It's cozy enough for my family. Okay. De mi uh, my office. Estoy esperando oraciones de my office. One more minute and we finish. Mm -hmm. My office, ¿qué? My office is not big enough for me. Okay. My office has enough light. Okay. My office is too stressful for me. Is that true, Walter, or is that an example? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. No, no, it, because it happens. For example, if you are alone in a big room without no windows, it might yeah. be very stressful. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me last year. I was in an office and it was just me and I didn't have contact to the sunlight outside. It was really yeah. Okay, I need other one. Okay, <laughs> my office. Okay, Wendy Molina. In ese ejemplo, my office, necesita el verbo to be. My office is. Okay. Y el adjetivo va antes de enough. Okay, el adjetivo va siempre antes de enough, Wendy. Okay, sería entonces, my office is cozy enough. Okay. Ok, no se les olvide eso, por favor. Aquí con eso creo que voy a terminar. Chicos, el enough, oiga, por favor, presten atención acá. El enough siempre irá después del adjetivo, no antes. No puedo decir, por ejemplo, my backyard is enough big. Ok, no puedo decir eso en inglés. My backyard is enough big. Uh -uh. My backyard is big enough for my pets. Okay, so let me see the two last examples. My office is cozy enough. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the last one. Vamos a terminar con esto. My room. My room. Tell me about your room. Mm -hmm. My room. And we'll finish with that. Mm -hmm. My room what? Mm -hmm. My room, okay, my room is lovely enough, okay. My room is enough for my pets, so for your pet, okay, good. My office is small for me. My room is warm enough, good. Thank you, Carlos. 
Uh, and Ada, thank you. My room is cool enough for me. Joanna, my room is very comfortable. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Time is almost, I'm almost done. Um, thank you. Uh, Wilmer says, my room is comfortable enough for me, but I need a bigger TV. I don't have a TV. I wish I could have a TV. Yeah. I don't have a 54 TV. 54-inch. <laughs> yeah, a, a, pretty weird one, a big one. All right. So yeah. tomorrow we're going to continue with this topic. I hope you had a great time. And listen, this is going to be a short assignment. Para mañana, quiero que me practiquen los adjetivos. Les voy a mandar esta presentación para que la revisen y revisen el vocabulario y los adjetivos porque vamos a utilizarlos mañana nuevamente. Si se me ha olvidado mandarles la presentación, mándenme un ahí en el WhatsApp, en el grupo that we have. Let it asking me, hey, mister, send us the PPT presentation and I'll do it, ¿ok? Dicho, so, dicho, okay. una consulta, una consulta. Sí. Uh -huh. No están bueno, me están mandando a cada rato que no estoy al día con la plataforma. Yo no sé si anteriormente, uh, yo me recuerdo que me aparecía check it, check, un check en cada sección que yo iba pasando. Hoy no me aparece. Yo no sé si a okay. ellos no les aparece que yo no he trabajado. Ajá, pregúntele a Flor, creo que se llama la persona que está ahí. Pregúntele a ella, escríbele a ella y dígale, mire, me están mandando esto. Tengo un problema con esto y ella le va a solucionar ese problema. Uh -huh. Yo creo que no solo a mí nos están mandando eso. Yo a, creo que todos, a todos, creo, a todos. A okay. todos nos están mandando. Sí. No. Ok, comuniquen. Es que a veces pasa muy rápido, por ejemplo, ahí de los objetivos, como solo le Ella tiene que trabajar en algo. <ríe> exactly. Que legalizar okay. la hora. So, la hora. Uh, it time is up and I know you're going to go and get some eat. I mean, to eat something. Okay, or to don't sleep. worry. You <laughs> deserve it. You deserve it. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a great night. I'll Have a great night. Bye-bye.